fantastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be drawing this cute little watermelon so grab your favorite art making mediums and let's make some art Teachers, don't forget that you can find all my fully planned and engaging art lessons in my TPT store. Simply search Ms. Artastic on TPT. All right, we're gonna begin our watermelon drawing. First by drawing one straight line across. Next, we're gonna draw a big, wide U shape. Next, we're going to draw the rind. So we're going to do one thin parallel line for the dark green. And then we're going to do another one for like the light green or you can even leave it white. Perfect. Next we're going to do our watermelon's face. So we're going to draw one circle on one side one circle on the other. In that circle, we're gonna do one big circle up towards a top corner. But then we're gonna just do two little circles at the opposite bottom corner. So we're gonna put them all the way down at the edge. And then of course, you can go ahead and color in the dark of the eyes black and then leave those circles white for the highlights or the glare of light. All right, once you're done coloring in the eyes, you can go ahead and draw two little ovals, one under each eye for the little cheeks. And we're gonna do a little, a little mouth and tongue. So we're gonna draw a lowercase letter W. We're gonna bring up this middle section just a little bit more and thicken it up so it stands out. And then we're gonna draw a little tongue below. So our our watermelon is sticking out its tongue. We can thicken up the outside and make it stand out. We're also gonna add in some curving rectangles for some shiny spots or some highlights. You can even add a few on the rind on the side. And that's just gonna stay white and it's just gonna make it look like it has a shiny surface. I'm also gonna add a couple little eyebrows on my watermelon to make it look fun and friendly and just change things up. I'm also gonna add a couple lines here and there around the perimeter for some added detail, even around the eyes. I like to just add lines here and there just for a little bit of expression. Okay, once you've done that, you can go ahead and add some seeds on your watermelon wherever you would like and just color in some black ovals for some lovely watermelon seeds. And once you're done, you're ready to color in your lovely watermelon. So we can go ahead and find our red and we're gonna start off with coloring our watermelon on the inside around those seeds with a lovely red. So you can pick your choice of art making mediums to color with and Join me in coloring red. Now I like to leave the top edge white and that's just going to be for, again, a shiny spot highlight on my drawing. 
and I just keep everything nice and loose. We're just having fun with our lovely little drawings. going to pick either uh, you're going to do a light green then a dark green on the rind so you're going to pick whatever art making mediums you want to do that with or if you don't have two greens do white for one part and then green okay so we're going to pick either two greens or use one green depends on what you have you can go ahead and color in the rind of your watermelon slice Remember to keep any of those rectangles on your slice nice and white and that's just going to allow for highlights on your drawing. Okay, next I'm gonna grab my pink and I'm gonna color in my cheeks my tongue, and then I'm gonna find a lovely light blue. We're gonna use this light blue and just go along the inside edge of the eye, so along the edge there. Okay. Finish off our artwork. We're going to go and grab a black felt marker. We're going to trace around the outside of our drawing only, and this is just going to tidy up all our lines and make our drawing look bold and beautiful and stand out on the paper. It's going to give it a nice professional look. So we're going to grab a black marker that's ready to go. We're just going to go along that outside edge only. Thickening up those lines, making it bold, beautiful, and professional. As well, this is adding contrast to our work, so it's going to stand out on the paper. And once your watermelon drawing is all colored, your watermelon artwork is done. And Artastic Nation, I just have to tell you a little secret of what is coming. So I am about to release pretty soon here in a couple weeks. I'm going to be launching my new course called 100 Cartoons, where I'm going to teach you how to do 100 exclusive different drawing tutorials, all going to be available in my course. So you can register for the course. I'll let you know when it's coming out. So be prepared to so keep watching the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button because I'm going to be showing you a video in the near future where I'm going to be talking about my new course called 100 Cartoons for Kids. You can play it at home and use any art making mediums that you want. They're all 100 new drawings that you won't find on my YouTube channel or anywhere else in Artastic Nation. And um, you're going to be able to use whatever art making mediums you want. And my friends, these are just some of the cool drawings you want. Yeah, this is what 100 drawings looks like. It's a lot. It's a lot. We're going to do 100 different drawings and you can just take a look at all the cool different things that we are going to draw. So it's 100 cartoons for kids. It's coming soon and stay tuned because I'm going to be telling you how to um, sign up for 100 cartoons in the near future. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel because this is coming oh so soon. All right, let's make some art.